Alright, what's up everyone? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make uh, dialogue options, but in this specific video, we're just going to set up the UI. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to have... We're just going to have... Some buttons here... That you can press... And then like some text that's the that the question is like that all right so set this up we're gonna create a empty game object and we're gonna have it the same size as our dialog box so we're just gonna copy this component we're gonna paste its value so you see this little box right there it doesn't really matter to be honest we're gonna call it uh, options, or we'll call it dialog options holder. This is just gonna hold the uh, buttons, and we're gonna create a button. Let's make a couple of them. Um, they're stacked on top of each other, and then we're gonna format them by going by adding a layout or a grid layout group and this is subjective to how you want to do it but in this video we're just gonna have it be like have it have two columns or two rows I should say and we're gonna center it so we're gonna go to the middle center and then we'll change it the size of the buttons right here so we'll make them a little skinnier like that a little longer like that I'll add some more buttons and I'm pressing control D to duplicate and then we're going to increase the space a little bit maybe like 10 and 10 uh, that looks pretty good let me just round out these numbers a little bit so 150 by 35 so I'm going to do it and last but not least, we're going to have the title or the question that's being asked. And so we're going to use text instead of TextMesh Pro. Um, I encourage you to look up TextMesh Pro on your own. It's just crispier text, but for this tutorial, so it's easier to access, we're just going to use text. Um, you see how it kind of messes up the format. We're going to add a layout element, and we're going to hit Ignore Layout. And it's just going to ignore the layout. Pretty self explanatory. We're going to change color. And we'll just have this be like how. Whoops. Title text. I just say question text. We're going to say how are you? Increase the font a little bit. the size of this. You don't want to scale because it gives it a less of a quality. It lowers the quality of the text. So let's just do this. Center it. Move it up a little bit. Increase font size. And there we have it. And so because we have this layout group um, it doesn't matter how many buttons you have, it's just going to format it so there's always going to be two rows. And you can see if you delete them, it's also going to automatically format it. And so it's going to look something like this in the end. But depending on what your game's like, you have more buttons, you have less buttons. But these are going to be the options. And that's about it for this tutorial. Uh, next video, we're going to actually uh, do some programming and have these buttons actually do something. So that's about it. Uh, see you next tutorial.